I'm Robbie Carmen, and today I want to show you a cool way of integrating Apple Final Cut Studio in Adobe Creative Suite. Oftentimes, we need to get files out to clients for review and approval. And there are a lot of ways to do this, including posting a file to the web, doing a phone call with a client, exchanging emails. But I want to show you a really neat way of doing this called Adobe Clip Notes. So let's dive in and let me show you how it works. Here in Final Cut Pro, I have a sequence of a PSA that needs to get to a client so they can take a look at it uh, to give their thumbs up about it. So what I'm going to do is select the sequence and come up to the File menu and come down to Export QuickTime Movie. I'm fine with the default naming of this clip using Adobe Clip Notes because after all, that's what I'm going to show you. And I'm going to save it off to my desktop. I'm fine with the setting as current settings. Current settings will just use whatever settings my sequence is set up to. And I'm going to include audio and video. And I don't need to include any markers, but I do want to make sure that this movie is self-contained. So I'm going to click Save. And the file will render out in just a second. It will save it out to my desktop. OK, now that the file is done rendering, let's switch over to the Adobe Media Encoder. And I'm going to do that by using the keyboard command, Command-Tab, which will let me quickly go over to the Adobe Media Encoder. And here's the interface for the Adobe Media Encoder. It looks pretty simple. But I need to add an actual file to it. I'm going to do that by clicking the Add button in the upper right-hand corner. So I'll click Add, and then let me navigate down to my desktop, and then choose the file that we just rendered out of Final Cut Pro. I'll click Open. So now that I have that file here in the queue in Adobe Media Encoder, I'm going to choose a format. And I'll do that by clicking on this Format pull-down. And you'll notice there are a lot of options here. But one of the options that I have is Clip Notes QuickTime. By choosing this option, I'll be able to create an Adobe Clip Notes file, which is simply a PDF with a video embedded in it. So I'll choose Clip Notes QuickTime. And under the preset pull-down, I'm going to choose NTSC widescreen source to 1024 kilobits per second. My source is widescreen, and the 1024 kilobits per second option will give me a very high quality file. And then finally, I just need to choose a place where I want to output this file to. So I'll click on the output file here. And we'll go to our desktop. And I'm fine with this default naming, using Adobe Clip Notes PDF. And I'll click Save. So now that I have all my options set up, I simply need to click on this button, Start Queue. And this will render the video and create the PDF, which I'll be able to look at and then send to my clients. There's one more thing I want to do before I actually hit Start Queue. Let's come back up to where it says Preset NTSC Widescreen and click on that text. And this will open up my Export Settings dialog box. And here is where I have greater control over the settings that I'm going to use to create this Adobe Clip Notes file. And the only thing I really need to change is on this Clip Notes tab. And here I have a couple options. I can choose how I want to use the video. Do I want to embed it in the PDF that I'm about to create, or do I want to stream it? I think most of the time embedding the video is a smart choice. I can password protect the file, and then I can give instructions to my reviewers on what they need to review or how to use the file. This defaults to some language that Adobe's put in that lets viewers know how to actually use the Clip Notes file. And then finally, down here on Return Comments 2, I can put my email address in. I'll just put my email address in. So that way, after a reviewer is done reviewing, the comments can come directly back to me. OK, so let me click OK. And now that I have all my options set up, let's go ahead and click Start Queue. And the Clip Notes file will render out. And this will take a minute or two, depending on how long your file is. OK, now the file is done rendering out of Adobe Media Encoder. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'm going to come down to my Finder and go out to my desktop. And here's the PDF using Adobe Clip Notes PDF. I'm going to right click on it and choose to open it up with Adobe Acrobat Pro. So Adobe Acrobat Pro opens up. And you might get this message, do you want to trust this multimedia content? And you have two options. Play the media, multimedia content just this one time, or play multimedia content and add this document to your trusted list of documents. I would suggest choosing this option. So after you choose that, Acrobat Pro prompts you with a message. And this is simply the instruction set that was in Adobe Media Encoder. Remember those instructions that were defaulted by Adobe and that we could have added to if we want? That's just those instructions right here, letting our reviewers know how to actually use the PDF. So I'll click OK. So here's the actual PDF. And up here at the top, I have my video file, which I can just scrub through. And then down here, I can enter comments. So I'll put in my name here, Robbie Carmen. And the way that this works is that every time I stop the video, like this, 
a new comment gets added. And I can say, nice shot, really like this. Okay, so now that I've added a comment, I simply need to click save, and that will save this comment. And then what I can do is I can export this comment or all the other comments that I would have done for this file. And when I click export, what's gonna happen is my default mail client will open up and attach a small file that will send back to the person that sent me this file. In my case, it was just me. So that's a simple method of integrating Final Cut Studio and Adobe Creative Suite using a feature called Adobe Clip Notes.